bloody horrible business this time. Horrible bloody business. Yeah, well. Good way to start the day. Eh? <laughs> At least I got my coffee. Could be worse. Doesn't seem to be getting any easier, does it, mate? No. No, not likely. And this one. Really terrible thing to see. Here. Just terrible. Could have done without this on a Monday morning. But then again. Oh, she could have as well. Yeah. Alright. Let's get to it then, aren't we? Had a look around already, have you? Yeah. Well. Thought I'd ask. It is on the early afternoon, Doyle. You know me. Don't like to be up at this time, especially before I've had too many of them. Good, does it? Definitely not gonna save this one. No, well. Gotta have a bit of humor, Doyle. Only thing that keeps me sane these days. I tell you. Always seems to be that we're one step behind at the minute. Don't matter how many of them we put away, another one pops up. Just as crazy, just as nasty. <sighs> and then we're left cleaning up messes like this. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Don. We're we'll getting. Always getting, don't we? Never really seems like we're getting fast enough, that's the problem. Yeah, well. That's the way it goes nowadays, always one step ahead, isn't it? Mm, well. I ain't got many more years of this left in me, Doyle. Be on you soon to pick up the torch, if that's what you want. Couldn't advise it, to be honest with you. For as much good as I've done, don't feel like nearly enough, I tell you that much. Yeah, alright, well. Go on then, talk me through it. Clearly, we've got a shallow grave. <sighs> Jane Doe, looks like she was buried in a bit of a hurry. Foot sticking out. Always a sign of a rush job, but maybe, yeah. Uh, on the passion or some sort of spur of the moment type of thing, you know. I see it all the time. Wish I didn't hard to catch. Don't normally have a record when it's things like this doyle. No patterns. Don't even usually get any good clues but uh, have another sip of my coffee. That's what it is, mate. As soon as that caffeine kicks in, I'll perk up back to me rosy demeanour that you're so accustomed to. <laughs> yeah, well, been a tough couple of months, Doyle. <sighs> tough couple of months, I tell you. Something then strangled, something we reckon did it. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, the eyes and markings around the throat, <laughs> side of the head. Yeah, I'd say you're probably right, Doyle. Probably right. 
absolutely terrible business. Horrible way to go. <sighs> Looks like she put up a real struggle too. Bless her heart. Yeah, well, don't you worry. We'll get whoever did this. I promise you that. We'll get them. And they'll pay for it. One way or another, they'll pay for it. Nothing door, nothing at all, mate. <sighs> any witnesses, any clues, anything you found so far before I got here that might tell us something, anything about who did this and why or where we might be able to find them. No, nothing yet. All right, well, I'll have a look around in a minute. But a new founder over there. Walking her dog early morning. Old as well. <sighs> Horrible thing that stumble across something like this on your dog walk in the morning, I tell you. She alright, you haven't spoken to her yet. No, 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 no. We'll finish up here and then you better do that. Canvas the area as well. You know the drill. Anything we can get out of this scene all the surrounding area that might give us a lead or at least something to go on even if it's only 10 years yeah nice no stone unturned and all that business yeah all right. all right fair enough Don't give me that door. You know what she's like. <coughs> Gotta keep her happy. And it's these old madness while I try and give up the cigarettes, so yeah well. The old ball and chain doyle. You know how it is, I know you do. Same with your fella. Yeah. Don't reckon you wear the trousers. Suppose you're right, Doyle. Suppose you're right. Alright, let's have a look at shall we? Let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, it definitely looks like strangulation, doesn't it? Fairly clear cut on that one, I reckon. Grave, Jane Doe, Strangulation. It's not a lot to go on, is it really? Cause of death, but what's the motive? Who are we looking for? What's the profile, Doe? Yeah, well, you'll get there, mate. You'll get there. You just sit and watch me work. Maybe you'll pick up a few tips. <laughs> Yeah, well that would be the big one on it. Find a new career, Doyle. You'll be a much happier man than I am. I tell you. I do like to joke, but... You do not want to end up like me, mate. All right here, Doyle. Are you married to me, or are you married to the job? Truth is, mate, at this point, I don't even know anymore. I don't think either of them really do much to give me any peace of mind these days. Seen too much Doyle. Seen too much. Done too little. Yeah. That's the way it goes. It's the business we're in I suppose. Anyone else been digging around here before I got here? No? Alright. See they've got the tent up. That's good. That's good, that is done. The first thing you always want to do as soon as you get to the crime scene, put the tent up. Keep those bloody reporters far away from this. 
I don't want any of this getting out of here. Right? If we even identified it yet. No. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't want the bloody rags printing this all over the place with pictures and whatnot. Vultures, Doyle. Bloody vultures. They don't care about anything. Apart from a juicy scoop. I'll tell you what. There's no way to find out, is it? Father, sister, husband, whatever, you know. Sees that in the paper. That might be the first day you even know about something like this. That's why it's so important to get the tenor. Keep them out. Don't listen to the sweet talk. Don't do any favours. Don't have loose lips, any of that doyle, alright? I don't care what they say to you or how nice they seem. They're vultures, doyle. Vultures, alright? If you learn one thing from me, mate, that's that. Skepticism when it comes to the reporters, alright? And there are no such thing as good reporters, alright? It just doesn't happen, doesn't exist. They've all got morals until they've got a story that they reckon they can run and make a bit of money out of, all right? It's just the way it is with them. Yeah. Yeah, well, looks like they're trying to take care of her, so... Let's not go and start harassing her just yet. I'm sure she'll tell us whatever she knows, but... To be honest, I don't expect she's gonna know much. She's just stumbled across this in the morning with her dog. Ugly little thing, that. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't see the appear on myself, Doyle. I had enough taking care of myself these days. Definitely don't want one of them little things yapping around me all the time. Don't get enough sleep as it is. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to get another coffee in, I Doyle. Can't be carrying on with this attitude, can I? First thing on Monday morning. Yeah, well, in my defence, Doyle, it's not exactly the best circumstances to start the week, is it? Yeah, you'd think I'd be used to it by now, wouldn't you? But truth is, you don't ever get used to the Doyle. A little piece here gets chipped away every time you see something like this, but leaves something far darker behind. gloves on, oh, the psychos will do their nut when they get in, see me rummaging around without any gloves on and all that, yeah, used to be Doyle, I'd just do what I want, and nine times out of ten, there wouldn't be a lot they could tell me that I wouldn't figure out, times change, don't they, technology and all that business these days, Get all sorts of things out of a scene like this that I can't ever hope to be able to pick up with my eyes or my hands. So. Yeah, best to be safe than sorry, in it for the procedure and all that. Boss man will do his nut of wise anyway. struggle. A fight in this one. Horrible to think about that, but I'll tell you what. It might mean we get something off of her DNA, prints, hair fibre, clothing fibre, anything like that. You were a fighter, weren't you? Yeah, well, let's just hope it wasn't in vain. Coffee cup down here, Doyle. 
best not tell me that she looks left that here before I turned up. No. going to be a valuable piece of evidence that is, although I would expect that that's going to be the victim's coffee definitely makes it seem like it was unexpected doesn't it? yeah it's a strange thought that is done one of these days I'll be sipping on my coffee be my last one too. Just like that. Just like that. Won't even know it. Just enjoying that last bit of caffeine. No idea what's about to happen. Yeah. A bit morbid on know. A bit morbid on know. But on the plus side, that coffee cup, that coffee cup might just give us something. I suppose it's more likely that it's the victim's cup rather than the killer's. Doesn't really make sense that the killer would be here drinking a coffee. He'd have to be pretty cold eyed to just be casually sipping on a coffee before doing something like this, wouldn't you? You never know, Doyle. You never know. Funny old world we live in, I tell you. Funny old world. Alright, where's that torch gone? So we've got coffee cup, strangulation, Jane Doe, shallow grave, foot sticking out. It looks like signs of a bit of a struggle, which is good. Might get something out of that. Anything else down here might be. Uh, there we are. Yeah. What's that down here? No, don't touch it, don't touch it. No, it's not for us that. Looks like rope. What do we reckon? Might just be, you know. That'd be a rope. May well be a murder weapon, Doyle. Uh, you see, I told you. A bit more coffee and things are starting to look up already. If that is the rope that did this, good chance we'll get something off it. Prints, fibres, DNA, hair. Get a good soak right down here. We might just have something to go on after all. Yeah, well, yeah, another look. What else we got down here? Coffee cup. Yeah, a bit of rope. It's definitely a bit of rope down there. That's a good sign, though. Tell you what, Doyle. That. What does that look like to you? That's right, Doyle looks like bracelet or necklace or something don't want to dig it out too much don't want to tamper with the crime scene but that is very interesting very interesting indeed now I suppose if that's a necklace makes sense when it boil mate if that was a necklace they would come off in the struggle especially if the rope was being used to strangle the victim uh, that's probably what it is it's probably exactly what I've just said in which case it's probably going to give us a lot more than what we've already got with the rope but I don't know Doyle I can't quite place it though, but something, something doesn't sit right with me. 
There's something about that necklace seems off. Something about it. And right. Now I don't know what it is. It's just there. It's just there, Doyle. It's just sitting there. Telling me something's not right. Have another look at that. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, I know, I know that Doyle, but what's it telling you? Come on, get the wheels turning. <sighs> something is telling me, Doyle, something is telling me that that is not your necklace. Now, I don't claim to be a fashion icon or know much about women's jewellery or whatnot, but my wife will tell you that much. You ask her about the last gift I got, I threw it right in my face, she did. And that is something that doesn't sit right here, and I reckon that necklace, or bracelet, whatever it is, once we dig it out, doesn't look like something she'd wear. Doesn't seem to go with the outfit or anything else. It just seems out of place. It's a good thing, Doyle. It's a really good thing. I'll tell you what. So now, if we can get Soko down here and get that out for analysis, if we're, I don't want to say, I don't want to jinx it, but if we're lucky, might even be some sort of custom job, you know, some some rare thing, something we can trace back to the store that it was bought in or made out or what have you. And that might just give us what we need. Yeah, well, can't all be bad news, can it? Not when the bad news is this bad after all. speak to the witness, do the canvassing and we need to get a good soco down here and I, I don't want any mistakes this time not again, can't be having that again no contamination of the scene, not this time boss man will do his nut if that happens again especially if that happens again to me and you and I still haven't forgiven you for the last time right? no interns, no bloody interns this time uh, we need someone good down here, someone knows what they're doing, knows the way around a crime scene, knows what to look for, knows how to handle evidence, bag it, tag it, all that sort of stuff. I'll tell you what, we are going to find who did this, we are. I'm sure of it now, I'm sure of it. Alright, we'll make them pay, we'll make them pay. I'll tell you what I'll do, Doyle, I've had an idea. I'll put a call in, I'll see if we can get Nick down here. Best damn soca I ever worked with. She's good Doyle, she's the best. If she's around, she can get down here. She'll do this job good and proper. She'll get us anything if there's even the tiniest bit of usable evidence here. She'll find it. Yeah. Tell you what, when you're done, why don't you hang around? When she gets here, I reckon you might learn a thing or two off of her if you just watch her work and listen to what she tells you, alright? Yeah, she owes me one. I reckon I'll get her down here. Yeah. Something like this, she'll be keen to make sure they get put away as well for what they've done here. Alright. 
Yeah. Alright then. Right, I'll better head back. Get this report started. Brief boss man on what's been going on. Make sure we've not had anything got out to the press. Last thing we need to happen again. We've got to be ahead of everyone on this. And we need to find who did this sharpish. Right. Yeah, you know that. She'll she'll be down there, don't worry. Alright, Doyle. And Doyle, one more thing. I'm telling you, mate. Makes you think that it's in things like this. You take that vacation as soon as this one's wrapped up, yeah? I know you've been putting it off. You're too young, Doyle. Got to have a life, got to have a future. You really don't want to end up like me. Alright? Go on. Take that vacation. You and your husband, you go and have a good time and just put all this behind you for a while. Yeah? Still be plenty of stuff like this waiting for you when you get back. It's one thing you learn doing this for as long as I have Doyle. Don't matter how many of them we put away. There's always another one just waiting around the corner. Yeah, alright. Catch you later. You're good, man. You're good. Another one. Something far too much. Hello, I'm Nick the Soko that's been called in. I'm assuming you're Doyle. Oh, wonderful. Pleasure to meet you. I've spoken with Detective Tappy and he's told me to come and assess the scene. So, yeah. Do you know what's happened? Any idea what's been going on? Okay, so there is a witness. Brilliant. Okay. Oh. oh, yes. Okay. Have you spoken to her yet? Okay, well, I need you to go and do that for me as soon as possible. Okay, thank you. So what else do we know? Okay, so we've got the shallow grave. Yep. not much thought about it yeah quite sloppy you can see the coffee cup cup of the victims mm. see bits and bobs down there that I need to look at mm. okay time was this? You got called out. Okay. Perfect. Right. If you could just go and interview the witness for me. Just get a brief witness statement. And then if you can come back to me. All right, I will start the assessing and then I'll probably need you to come and help out. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. 
Hurry up and hmm. let's find out.
Mm, super action. Lipstick. Great. Hmm. Pink lipstick. Hmm, that's probably yours, I'm not sure. of hair. Looks like you had a struggle. It's not quite the same as yours, is it? taken, isn't it? Mm. Did you find anything out? Great, so she saw nothing. I'll just say how long she was in the park for. Oh, and she never saw anything at that time. Great. All right. Are they taking her back to the station? Good. That's fine. Well, I found a few things. Coffee cup. Empty cigarette end with pink lipstick on, which I'm not sure matches the victim. Found an earring, which is the victim's. She has one in. The other one is down there. Then I also found a piece of clothing. It was a ripped piece of clothing. And it looks like some kind of initial on it, like an M or something like that. Can't quite work it out. And it doesn't match anything that the victim is wearing. No, and there's a slight bit of blood on it as well, which is really good. Yeah, so that's in there. And then I found hair. It's a slight clump of hair, which was brilliant. I tell you, she really wanted us to find the killer, mm, which is great. And then a bracelet. Yeah, do you... You did? Okay. It's very distinctive, you know. I don't know. It doesn't fit right with me, this one. It doesn't look like something a victim would wear. What do you think? Oh, did you say that too? Yeah. Have you not managed to find anything else about it? Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. We didn't touch. I get that. Hmm. What do you think? It doesn't suit, does it? Looks custom made, actually. Looks rather expensive. Hmm. I wonder. Clothing look quite expensive actually. I'm wondering. Crime of passion. 
maybe she was having an affair with a rich man. The woman found out and she's murdered her. I wonder. I don't know. Interesting. If you wouldn't mind just taking a picture of the bracelet and we're going to do some research, please. Thank you. You can do that now for me. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. That's fine. You can do that now on your phone. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to give us some gloves in a moment. Right, let's start. What's this? Is that a footprint? Can you see that? This is it. Oh, brilliant. Get an impression. Right. Okay. Some of the pictures were taken before I arrived of what you could see and how it was. Brilliant. Okay, that's me. Right, so the soil is very disturbed. Shy grave. Lots of things left. Footprint. Okay. Victims got a lot more bruising down both legs. Grace me there. Hmm. Sorry, I'm not actually. Interesting. What's that I can see in the knee? Need somewhere else. That's interesting. Okay. You found anything? useful. Brilliant. Let's check this. Mm, not quite yet. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the wrists. Bruising. You see the bruising there? Hmm, like a hand mark actually, isn't it? It's grab. Hmm, I'll just dust it up. So we can get a fingerprint off it.
Hmm, I think we've got one there. Yes, we have. that perfect fingerprint hmm. the same there. I don't know if that's another print. Let's give it a go. Yeah, we've got a bit of one there. you can get the other torch and if you wouldn't mind having a look around for me what's that over there? can't quite see what it is. Can you go and have a look at that? Take the torch, go and have a look over there, and then if you can just have a look around this bit of grassland for me here. Okay, you can get one of the other officers with you, and then go and have a look together. And if you find anything, get some pictures taken, please. Brilliant, thank you. And then hurry up back, I've got, you know, stuff for you to do. Thank you.
Atmosphere, what's killed you? Okay, I'm going to remove this now. not cheap. Brings me back to the killer bean wrench. Mm. Okay, I need you to find out where locally sells this exact rope. Colour, size, quality. Okay. Let's have a look at this ligature mark then. So this is your typical strangulation. So you can see all the bruising round. Yeah. And then it's really deep. And you can see the indent of the rope all the way around the pattern. Can you see that? So they really went for it because it's really deep. Yeah, I mean the rope is quite thin, so they would have had to pull quite hard. Maybe they wanted them to suffer slightly more. Hmm. Yeah, I can see blood. I'm gonna collect some of that, I think. You need to always make sure you wear gloves. You don't want to miss anything. Even if you think it's pointless, it's not pointless. Okay. I don't want to contaminate any evidence either. but it doesn't look like the rope. Interesting. Let's 
Those are the things you find, isn't it? Perfect. Look at that. Great. the soil please. There we go. Okay. Yeah, anywhere really. It's all been messed with, hasn't it? Thank you. Okay. rope thickness which is right but then if you notice the actual wound is thicker is that what happened okay. thank you I don't know why they bothered putting this on really. What is that? Stuck. Ah, got it. Ha. Wow. And then we want to put that tape in there. Great. Let's check that. Wonderful. Really see the outline of that footprint. Wonderful. Great. Right. 
Right, how's that done? Swap, I need to swap. fingerprint Like they found something. Oh, interesting. To find out what that is, I'll need you to get detectives happy down here soon. Yeah, I need him here. Already. We get the back to the lab more than that. We can do a bit more assessments when I do the autopsy. Yeah, I like to take basic notes and evidence at the crime scene. It's all about the crime scene and getting obviously the things off them first. But when I take them back for the autopsy, that's when I can finish everything off. You know. Mm. Okay, I think I'm going to do that. Beautiful. I saw so much paperwork. If you wouldn't mind just lifting up slightly so you can see anything at the back. Mm hmm Thank you. And cuts, bruises, anything like that. Okay, so bruises. Just picture those. These and the cuts. If you could have a close look and take anything out of there that you find. If you find any fibres or anything, please bag it up. Okay. You good. Check the other side, please. Cuts and bruises. Okay. Please take a picture. Can you see anything at all? Does it look like anything? Okay, well you can just take that out then please. Thank you. Thank you. Right. 
So beautiful, you know. Mm. Mm, red, very bloodshot eyes. Expected. Same. Swab the nose. Yes. Okay, would you be able to take a sample of the cuts on the knees, please? Thank you. I can't see any of those cuts in the hair, which is great. Perfect. You've done that. Brilliant. Okay. Great, thanks. So, so much paperwork. I need a bit. I know these forms off my heart. Great. Just get your signature, please. Just there. Thank you. Plan. I'm going to get my team in to cordon off the area a little bit more. 
further out and really assess the area. Okay. I'm going to take these to the lab, body to the morgue, speak with Detective Tuppy and yourself if you're going to be there, please. Thank you. Team coming in doing their bits. Then I want you two to come back here and do your detective work. Yeah, don't miss anything at all. No. Wear gloves, please. It's very important. If you find anything around when you're looking around, I need you to bag it up. Okay. Gloves. Sign it, date it, time it. Good. Don't want any of this compromised, okay? Good. Brilliant. We'll sort this out. Got a lot of evidence, which is really good. I like it when we have a lot of evidence. And hopefully, we'll find out what kind of person kills a woman, embarrassing, shallow grain, strangles her. on the head with something. We've got some evidence around. It doesn't sound right. Hmm, doesn't does it? Make sure you research that braces as well and the rope. Great. Right. I'm gonna go and get sorted. Thanks so much for your help. And I'll see you back at the morgue. Take care. Bye bye.